Hello, what's up and welcome to this channel. In today's video guys, I'm gonna address for the last time uh, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon uh, on the 3DS originally, uh, that we play on the Citra emulator, obviously. And in today's video guys, we're gonna do it on the Citra uh, official nightly build. And uh, yeah, there's a couple of settings that we're gonna go through and uh, there's literally nothing more. And to the set things, they have removed one setting that I always did, it's the tick thick CPU uh, thingy, it's not there anymore, but with anything further you guys, let's hop straight to my desktop and let's get the video done, see you there. <clears throat> Alright guys, as we are on my desktop right now, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to Citra Emulator, nightly build, as I told you, I have here Luigi's Mansion, nothing too special, and uh, we go into emulation, and you go to configuration guys, I'm going to go straight to the point here, no bullshit, nothing like that. The first thing you're gonna do, guys, is go to general, and you go to uh, debug. Here, guys, there was two options. There was a CPU clock speed, uh, where I change. If you want to play the game now, if you want to play the game in 60 FPS, guys, just it's gonna be for you 100. Just change it to 95 percent, and uh, and apply OK. And then go again to emulation. Go to configuration again and uh, you're good double check it that it is 95 and you're good to go if you want to play the game in 30 fps you need to drop down the percentage to 25 and sometimes to 20 it depends on your pc how strong it is and uh, it should work so if you want to play it at 30 fps uh, go to 20 or 25 percent i prefer to play it in 60 fps feels smooth, feels nice, and you're good to go. But try what's what's working for you, and it depends on, on your hardware as well, and uh, you're good to go. So as I said, 95% you, you want to play it in 60 FPS, and you press OK, and if you want to play it in 30 FPS, guys, you're going for 25 or 20% and press OK. Yeah, I want, as I said, I'm going to play it at 60 FPS, so I keep it like that, I press OK again, I go to emulation, and the second thing you want to do guys is nothing here nothing at all go to graphics uh, it's native 8 here for me i recommend uh, go for native 2 or go for native 3 but of course if you have like a really high end uh, pc or like a middle end size i have as a uh, 10 uh, 20 70 super i have as a graphic card and i have a uh, I have a Ryzen uh, 7 37X and you can go for a little bit more and but I, I do actually go for native 3 I don't see a, a lot of difference only pressure on your hardware uh, keep that as it is here you can play with this nothing too special here either uh, let's see here Coding. nothing here I think in advance here actually so, uh, here in advance, guys, graphics in advance, uh, you go for uh, a graphics API, go for OpenGL, don't play with anything else, keep enable hardware shader on, accurate multiplication on, uh, enable shader JIT, I think there's one, yeah, I think this, this one here. Um, yeah, keep this thing off actually, guys, I put it off, but it seems not to be saved, so keep this thing off. Only like if you see some glitches in some games, just like in uh, Legend of the Ocarina of Time 3D, you need to have it on. Otherwise, the icons in the little screen are gonna be like literally visible. Um, most important, use disk shader cache. Keep this on. Don't use a custom shader cache. Trust me. Go for go for your own. Like play the game. It's gonna stutter in the beginning, but after a couple of like minutes it will learn it literally learns the shaders it's make it makes the shaders and it's more shader than you make guys to smoother the gameplay gonna be enable vsync keep that on audio nothing too special here either but i think i want to drop it to here because i will be playing the game it's going to be high as heck controls uh, in case you need like a control layout and whatnot i have my old videos go to my channel and check them out I did a full setup guide how to uh, set up the controls and you will be good to go with all those settings done let me double check yep mm-hmm 
Yeah, there's nothing more to do. Press OK. Everything gonna be saved. And if not, as I am my OCD guys, you know, I'm all double check everything. And let's see. Yes. Graphics, native tree. We will see how much we can push it. Audio controls, we good. With that all said guys, we're gonna start the game. I'm using my Xbox One controller wired into my PC. So I use the cable, I'm not using wireless, all that kind of bullshit. Now I'm gonna keep it like this, not full screen, so you can see what performance I get. And as you might see, it's a nightly build, it's a it's the official build. I did all those tweakings inside the emulator, and as you might see speed 100%, game FPS is 60, I press A, um, smooth at butter, sometimes it's uh, it's hackers and whatnot, but hey, uh, I played through the game because I want to uh, do that, what I, that's what I told you, to build up shaders, and as I started, you said, it's shaders up things and whatnot, um, blue manner, I'm gonna go for the first one, because here I did the most shaders, and uh, you see, native 3 is really good. I want to see how much I can push it, but I think they fix it, even they said in the title screen thingy, that, that as is it not, you know what I mean? I'm gonna play through. And one more recommendation I give you, I can give you guys is that when you play the game for the first time and you build up your shaders, let the cutscenes run through. To more it's, to more it runs through the game, the smoother it gets, because you will have lesser hookups. It learns everything, every pattern, every move, every character, and whatnot. Here, I could skip if I want to, but I don't. It doesn't. Lo it doesn't show up like in Citra, you know, uh, in Citra in uh, Samu, where it's literally building up the shaders and it's noted you in the left corner of your screen. Here it's making this, and the only noticeable, uh, you only noticeable effect you're gonna see it's when it's hackers, when it's literally like gets a little bit slower in performance. There you know, okay, it's been building up things. So you see, constant 60 FPS, and as I said, my specs are uh, 2070 Super, uh, uh, 2070 Super are uh, my CPU is an i7 37x, and I have 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAMs at 3600 uh, megahertz speed that's all i have guys on my end of my pc so it should run without a doubt if not and if you have problems it could be your hardware it could be even software related because sometimes we have virus and things if you know what i'm saying trying to get them games and whatnot i do not play games that i don't own i can really confirm that <laughs> because I don't have really the time for it. Only for tutorial sake, I get the RAMs to show you. It runs smooth. No problems here. And as I said, as I, I played already this section here, so this way is smooth. There uh, will be no hooking ups, nothing like that. Um, let's see, we're gone for 8 minutes. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much the, the one. The only thing here that I, I noticed in the nightly build. Uh, is now for the newest up it's the newest update when I try to change settings it's gonna literally crash uh, it's gonna crash so whenever you want to change from 60 to 30 FPS guys you need to close the game and uh, uh, and start again when I do change it back in the day it wasn't like that but yes as you see here's the mouse when I started the game, I had, like here it's froze, like for a little bit, it's got down really slow and whatnot as well. Now it's not the case because I did so much runs of this game that the shader ca that I have the shader caches, so it doesn't need to collect them. Here, all here, and now here you might ask me why did it slow down right here, Emu? Well, this is easy to come to uh, explain. It's because every time you catch the mouse, it's a little bit, it's on a whole nother place and a location, and that's the the thing is as well that it's going to slow down. But uh, yes, this is pretty much it, guys. With this all said, I'm going to get the heck out of here. Have yourself a good day. 
And by else, keep it cool and stay also. My name is Emo from Emo Gaming. And one more thing, next video for Breath of the Wild with the uh, next video gonna be the Breath of uh, Big Speed. Shut the fuck up. Oh, sorry guys. Sorry children. Uh, anyway, um, next video gonna be um, Legend of Zelda, uh, Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild for Samu emulator with uh, motion control setup and whatnot and uh, with this all said guys i'm gonna get taken out of here have yourself a good day and whatever else keep it cool stay awesome my name is emo from emo gaming hey i'll free all of you peace